Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog. In March, Apple introduced iOS 11.3, which included a bundle of new features, including battery health and performance settings, new animojis, business chat, health records, and an update to AR kit. But quickly after came the betas for iOS 11.4, and after quite a few betas, of which we covered extensively, we have the final version, which you can now download today on your compatible iOS device. And truthfully, 11.4 doesn't bring too many features, but the features they bring are pretty substantial ones, and ones we were promised last June, at the same time as features such as Apple Pay in Messages, but it's taken a long time to get them, almost an entire WWDC cycle. So, the first feature would be AirPlay 2. This is a cool one. On top of just improving in general latency or lag when playing AirPlay content, which is always nice, more reliability and speed, it also adds a great integrated multi-room audio control right from iOS, no external app required. I actually did an entire video covering 11.4's AirPlay 2 and what it is, so feel free to check that out in the description. Now, AirPlay 2 did show up in 11.3, but then it was taken away, and now it's back at 11.4, and it is definitely here to stay. It has shown through several betas, so we're excited for that. There's also messages in iCloud, which allows syncing messages over iCloud quite simply. Uh, you know when you restore an iOS device, but without a backup, and you still get your calendar and contacts and mail and maybe Safari, stuff like that? Well, that's because it's all stored in iCloud in general and not stored to a specific backup like you can do with messages. Well, now you'll also restore iMessages if you restore your device because they'll be stored on iCloud just like your calendar and your contacts and your reminders and things like that. It'll be a really useful feature for keeping your messages from being lost. I'm excited for that. And finally, there's ClassKit. Less people will be affected by that. Uh, it's a feature announced at Apple's Chicago Educational Event on March 27th, which focuses on bringing educational apps primarily to the iPad and creates a whole new infrastructure for creating educational apps. So that's cool at the very least. Small other features include new red wallpapers for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus product red editions, uh, and HomePod support for Calendar. Again, some of these were announced at WWDC 2017, so they're almost a year ago. But those are the new changes in 11.4. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up to let me know. You can check out idownloadblog.com for all of this in writing, as well as for download links for your iPhone, iPad, or other iOS device today. Thanks for watching.